Now you have your screenshot, right? So now you can kind of choose your background and layouts of what you want to do. So remember we learned the pattern tool right here? So I can choose pattern. I could choose like a creative pattern like here. I could choose to like only do a certain section, like only the middle part I want to be the pattern. So I can like do this and color it in. You know? You want us to be simple though, right? But isn't doesn't this look pretty simple? No, no, I know. Yeah, don't go crazy. Like some people like go really crazy with stuff like this and it looks really bad. So don't be one of those people. Um, so I can do this and if I want to like just fill it, edit fill, I'm going to choose a color, maybe a soft color, blue, okay. And then I'm going to just leave it like that. All right, so then all I would do is hit File, Save As. I'll save it as back as my PNG, OK. I go back to my site. And then in my entire page, I can change my background image. And then I can hit Custom. Are you guys here? So you'll know how to do it. Um, hit Browse. And then hit, what did I call it? Back. Back. And then choose that custom back. Right now it's saving. Um, put it in browse first. Put browse first and then it automatically be. PNG is the best for web graphics. Or but you can it'll, JPEG will still work. Now notice it's kind of too big, but that's only because it's a preview. If and I want to center it. So I'll do center there, and then I'll hit save. And then I'll, if you want to do a pattern, like you could just like do a little pattern and then choose repeat. Like see repeat, and then you can just like do one pattern throughout the whole thing if you want instead. So if I return to my site, we'll see if it worked. Not upload, edit. It, um, those of you guys who know HTML and want to do that, you can edit your HTML specifically to what you want. All right. So notice now we got a little more things. So what you could do is you could put like a picture of yourself right here, you know, on your background, and on the side like put something creative, like um, like if Minji if she wanted to put some of her painted art on the side, you know, make it a little bit more unique and personalized, you could do that. So yeah, that's how you update the changes. And um, everything you can change, the colors, like you, can ch you can change the font, you can change the link colors, you can change the title color, like everything you can change right in here. So feel free to do that. But again, don't go crazy, use a nice, because this is a portfolio. I'm really hoping that you guys are going to use this in college. But more importantly, like later on when you maybe get a side job or when you get an interview for a business, like if you go into business or anything, basically you can show them, hey, I have graphic design skills, I have um, photography skills, I have website skills. And a lot of things that a company does, like a company uses those skills and no matter what they do. All companies have a website. All companies have different things. And when you put that on your resume and you can show them and put this link to your website and they see this they're like whoa like I know that you graduated with this like maybe um, c communications degree but wow look at you can do this and this you're you're multitasking and you have different like um, ways we can use you so that's really beneficial for you so that's a brief intro for Google Sites